What does it really mean to be a leader today? Because when you look out in the media, you look at the stories, it can get pretty confusing. Sure, there are great leaders, but they're still the minority. There's something more fundamental that I've uncovered in my work that is the real challenge that we have to really talk about. And it really comes down to this idea of accountability. That quite simply, we have a lot of people in leadership roles who simply aren't leading. When you ask employees, what is the most stressful part of your job? Do you know that 75% say it's their manager? So if you happen to be here with your manager today, this could be a bit of an awkward moment. <laughs> we all have to pause and reflect at an organizational level and at a personal level what it really means to be a leader today. There is a leadership contract, and it comes with four terms and conditions. Leadership is a decision, and you have to make it. Leadership is an obligation, you have to step up. Leadership is hard work, and you have to get tough. Leadership is a community, and you have to connect. Think about it more like an online contract. You know when you're downloading music, buying a product or service, at some point in the transaction, this window pops up. And you know the deal. You've got to scroll through, read the terms and conditions, and if you're good with that, you click Agree. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm multitasking, and I'm really busy during the day, I quickly scroll down, click Agree, and move on. I have not read any words on, that term and on those terms and conditions. Now, I know I'm bound to something. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I just have this nagging fear in the back of my mind that one day Apple or Amazon is going to come and take away my three kids. <laughs> that would not be a good day in the Molinero household. We were doing a program a number of years ago and we were talking about this. And one of the participants, Earl, who was an engineer by training, talked about his career and he just, he just said, I clicked agree. And he clicked agree all the way to a VP of engineering services of his company. So he got to the executive level. But in that session, he said, you know, I never really paused and thought what I was taking on when I accepted those roles. In fact, if I'm really, really honest, I still think of myself as an engineer first and leadership is my part-time job. You've got to be deliberate about it, and you've got to think about what you've signed up for. It comes with decision. And if you are the leader that defines him or herself as a leader, that's the tone you will set to others, and people will want to follow you. If you are clear on your obligation to leave things better every single day, better than you found them, you will inspire those around you. If you have the courage to tackle the hard work, everyone will rally around you because you'll make their lives simpler. You'll help them solve their problems. And if you're the leader that focuses on building relationships and establishing community in a strong leadership culture in your company, you will establish the ultimate differentiator for your success.